What's up guys, it's John Reevesive, and today we're going to be checking out a PTP Plus Taka live performance, and this song is called Voice. I'm pretty sure we've actually heard this song before, but I've never seen a live performance of it. So if you guys are new to my channel, please smash that sub button, and let's check this out together. Freaking a boom, and then hitting that play button, a boom! Oh, we're going to go back actually a little bit. I wonder if... Oh. Oh my god, look at that crowd. Oh. Yeah, so we've definitely heard this song before, uh, but I have never seen this live. And Taka, again, like as always, he has... I Man, I, it's hard to say... But I think that he has a better voice voice live than he even does in recordings. Like, I think he does great in recording and stuff like that. But live, he just has, like, you, he's singing to the crowd. And I feel like there there's just, like, I don't know. There's this feeling to it. You know what I mean? I don't know. But it's beautiful. And I absolutely love this. So thank you for this suggestion. I'm freaking stupid. Oh, my God. Look at this crowd, too. How can you not be moved by seeing that? Oh my god, that is br breathtaking. I think one thing that's wild about this too is if you take like this performance and you really break it down to like this band essentially is the same setup, but we've got a guitar, bass, and drums as 1OK Rock and Taka just singing in the middle of this. I was thinking to myself like I wonder how uh, how this feels to him, how different this feels to him. And if you think about it like a lot of the times bands and songwriters tend to write songs in somewhat the same scales or like really similar scales to a lot of different songs so like we'll play as far as the guitarist goes there's like um there's structures to guitar scales and stuff and we'll repeat patterns a lot of the times so you might play uh them in different ways or whatever but like as far as just like where like five seven five seven eight or something like that five seven eight ten like just doing runs on the neck the way that you play and use your fingers kind of tends to write along the same lines. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Those things end up happening a lot whenever you're playing guitar. So I'm guessing that this is probably in a different scale or a different key or something like that from what Talkin normally sings. And so I'm wondering if something along these lines, like this change up for him is difficult or if he finds it refreshing or like what his thoughts are on playing something that's totally new like this and in a new band and a new style. Because I know that this, it, it is close to something one okay rock would do but it's not at the same time you know what i mean i don't know oh
Ooh, his voice. So beautiful. Mm. Oh, man. Like, I gotta say, this song lyrically is just such a beautiful song for sure. I remember watching and checking this one out for the first time. It's such a, uh, I don't know, the lyrics, it just paints a picture, a very sad picture, but it's something that's relatable, I think, to too many people out there, man. But it's a beautiful, beautiful song. I love looking out in the crowd and seeing so many people being, like, emotionally moved and singing along with it, too. Hmm. Oh. Stars chasing a shadow while looking for answers just leaves a question behind the notes and no sign of light what you left behind while I feel inside Oh, man. Oh, my God. Dude, I have, like, chills. That is insane. His voice there was insanely beautiful. Oh. Mm. Whew. That is amazing, man. God, he is going off. Good Lord. That's like you're breaking sticks and cymbals playing right there. Oh, that was a beautiful moment. That is so beautiful. Huh. I think it's it, it's really 
It says so much about Taka as a performer that he literally went up to the guitarist, the bassist, and the drummer and sang to them in that moment, man. And like, I bet you anything, just being those members in the band, that left a huge impression on them. That is such a beautiful song. It's such an epic song, too. Eight minutes, man. Eight and a half minutes? But I mean, what a beautiful song that is. I was going to say, listen how dead silent that crowd is. That is amazing, man. Oh, that was moving. That was beautiful. I just... Something about Taka's voice, man. He's got such a way of connecting to this, like, what he's singing about, no matter what it is. Like, the first song we actually just checked out a second ago was Memories, which is, like, a very aggressive song. And lyrically, it's very aggressive. And whenever he's singing, he's got everybody in the crowd, like, flipping off the crowd. You know what I mean? Like, just flipping off, like, just, I don't know, throwing up the middle fingers. And uh, so he's got, like, this way of really capturing the emotion of what he's singing about. And I just, I don't know, man, that's such a... It's not rare to be able to do that, but at his level of doing it, it is. And he's so authentic when he's singing. I mean, like, everything. People phone in so much stuff nowadays with performances or have, like, really loud backing tracks and turn their vocals down on their microphones. He never does that type stuff. Like, whenever he was singing to the drummer, he was cupping the microphone a little bit, which causes a little bit of a reverb. A little bit of, like, gain distortion in the microphone. And then you could also hear the cymbals kind of coming into the microphone too so it's like so many little things about what he does singing live it's just i i don't i respect him more than probably most rock and metal vocalists out there and i don't know he's definitely in the top five for me of like my favorite of all time just because of how authentic he is his range his versatility and just his personality man he is such an awesome person thank you very much for the suggestion for real i uh i am so glad to have seen this live performance i know that the actual song we heard was beautiful but the live performance stills it man that is that is amazing thank you so much for this i hope y'all are having a blessed day or night whatever time it is you're watching this spread some positivity out there be kind to each other and if anybody does need anything at all please message me homies all of my socials are at john reeves live send me a message and i will catch y'all then freaking toodles bye